Okay, I'm going to show you now how to trace an image. The reason why we need to trace images is that uh, the CAD CAM machines that we use in school, whether it be the, the TS30 router cutter or the, the knife cutter or the laser cutter, they'll only actually recognize the lines that you draw. So I'm going to start off by finding myself an image. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone onto Wikipedia and I've got a nice picture of good old Bart there. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to 2D and paste it on. Okay, so there's my, my picture of Bart. Now when you trace, it's really important to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom right in on his face like that. In fact, I'm going to go even further. We'll start off with his eyes, I think. When you're tracing, you need to come off of grid lock and off of step lock so that you've got a nice smooth movement of the cursor. So I'm going to start off by doing his eyes. Okay, there's one there. This one's slightly smaller, I think, which means I can't copy it. Now at the moment, what's happening is I'm overlapping everything, and that's fine. I'm going to do his pupils there. We're going to be deleting all the unwanted lines in a bit. Okay, so there's his eyes. I'm going to scroll up. Uh, let's do his hair, I think. So we're just going to zoom in a bit more his hair. That's it. Okay. Now again, when you do this, everything should be overlapping. And we can trim it all later. The reason why we want to overlap it and trim it is because we don't want any boundaries that aren't enclosed. If you have got boundaries that aren't enclosed then it makes adding colour later very difficult. So there's the hair, let's top of his hair, let's zoom out. Okay, I'm going to go to the, the curve tool now because the side of his hair here is not quite straight. So I'm going to come down like so. I think I'm just going to work my way around. So I'm going to do his ear next. So I'm going to zoom in on his ear. Pixelate a bit. Now he's got that little sort of black bit in there. And I'm going to create a shape that we're going to fill later. So I'm just going to do his ear. Now it's going like so. Okay, now I'm going to do the little bit here with just straight lines, I think. Now, to make an enclosed boundary, I've actually left a gap there, and I'm going to go to the Attach tool, and I'm just going to grab the two lines and attach them together to make sure that I have got an enclosed boundary. Uh, so coming down then, let's go down to his neck. Uh, let's have a straight line going down here. Let's come off of attach. Let's have a straight line down here. And the bottom of his neck. Overlap it. You'll see the overlap better in a bit when I actually remove the, the picture of Bart. Coming around with his chin down here. There we go. I'm going to start off here with his mouth, come round here. Okay, I just need to scroll up. Coming round to his nose. Okay, again, I'm going to overlap there. Okay, I think that'll do. So I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to delete the original image. There we go. Oh, let's do a last undo because I've missed a bit. Just a bit up here. So I'm going to come down here. And let's zoom in. Like that. 
a little bit further than I need be and with my curve tool I'm just going to come around here okay right let's try again so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to delete the BART tool okay and you can see here we've got all of the, the little overlaps so I'm going to click and hold on delete and go to the second one along which is delete part of an object between two intersections uh, and I'm just going to delete all of the overlaps so it's just tidying everything up zoom in a bit here uh, let's get this the right way around so I'm going to get rid of that one that one there, there, is that right? Yeah, let's do his ear. Now I didn't do an overlap here, so there's a gap. So I'm going to create an overlap just by going to the line tool, attach, attach onto there, come up, and then just trim it off. Like that. Okay, finally, I'm going to fill in the uh, the pupils uh, and that little bit of darkness in his ear. So I'm going to go to Boundary Fill, Fill Color, go to Black. Okay, any islands? No. Any islands? No. Any islands? No. I just zoom out. Okay, so there we have a trace drawing of good old Bart Simpson.